Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on record to play for you. Today, book, and look what I found for 1983. So let's get started. Look what I found. Story by Michaela Montine. Pictures by John Costanza. Hello. How about reading a story together? Just remember, every time you hear the Turn the page. Look what I found. Early one morning, Ernie and Bert and Big Bird and Betty Lou and Grover and the Count climbed aboard a big orange bus. They were going to the National Forest for a nature walk. I brought a bag along to hold the things I find in the forest, said Ernie. I brought my sketchbook, said Betty Lou, so I can draw pictures. I brought binoculars so I can see birds high up in the trees, said Big Bird. I brought peanut butter and banana sandwiches for our picnic, said Grover. I brought a notebook so I can write down all the wonderful things I find to count, said the Count. I brought this nature book. It will tell us all about the things we see in the forest, said Bert. The bus drove away from Sesame Street and out of the city. Soon, there were no more big buildings or shops or stores. Finally, the bus stopped at the entrance to the forest trail. Smell that fresh air, said Ernie. Listen to the birds singing. Look at the red and gold leaves on the trees. Autumn is here, and we are here to see it. Let's go, said Bert. Let's see what special things we can find in the forest. Ernie was the first to find something. Look, he called. I found the reddest leaf in the whole world. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, Ernie, said Bert. It's a maple leaf that fell from that maple tree. Ernie dropped the leaf into his bag. Look what I found, Grover cried. It is fuzzy and soft. And cute like me. It is a green baby monster sleeping under this tree. Now that is moss, Bert said, opening his book. Moss is a tiny leafy plant that grows in damp places. He read. I think I'll take some home with me, said Ernie. Look, Betty Lou exclaimed. Doesn't that look like a walking rock? Yes, but it's not a rock. It's a turtle, said Bert. A turtle carries his shell with him all the time, he read. When he wants to hide from an enemy or go to sleep, he pulls his head, feet, and tail into this shell. A turtle shell is his home. I see another home, Big Bird said. It's a nest, just like mine, but much, much smaller. One wonderful nest, cried the Count. He wrote, one nest, <laughs> in his notebook. Look, said Betty Lou. Maybe the nest belongs to that bird. That's a robin, said Bert, looking in his book. It is gray with a red breast. 
everyone took a turn looking through the binoculars. Wow, said Big Bird. Look over there, a giant pincushion. That's a porcupine, Bert explained. The pins are really quills to protect him from bigger animals. Now, let's turn the record over. Ernie started to pick a leaf from a plant. Stop, Ernie! cried Bert. That's poison ivy. Don't touch it, or it will make your skin red and itchy. Here's a picture of it in my book. Leaves of three, let it be. What about leaves of four? The Count asked. This little plant has one, two, three, four little leaves. <laughs> That's a four-leaf clover, Betty Lou said. Four-leaf clovers are hard to find. Some people think they bring good luck. The Count gave the clover to Ernie to put in his bag. Look what I found! Betty Lou cried. Dandelion pups! What's this nut, Bert? Asked Big Bird. That's an acorn, Bert answered. Acorns are the seeds of oak trees. It looks too little to grow into something so big, Big Bird said. <gasps> Look, ten wonderful footprints, cried the Count. Those are rabbit tracks, Bert said. And there goes the rabbit right into those bushes. Let's follow his tracks and see where he's going, said Betty Lou. They went through the bushes and came out into a clearing by a stream. The bunny found a beautiful place for our picnic, said Grover. They spread a cloth on the grass, and Grover got out the sandwiches he had brought. Look at the berries I found, Betty Lou said. Can we have them for dessert, Bert? We must be careful about eating things we find in the forest, said Bert. Some berries are poisonous and will make you sick. He looked in his book. Those are wild strawberries, he said. They are safe to eat. A beautiful butterfly landed on Big Bird's beak. That's a monarch butterfly, Bert read from his book. Hold still, Big Bird, said Betty Lou. I want to draw a picture of the butterfly. Suddenly, they heard something behind them. They turned and saw two furry animals splashing in the stream. Raccoons, Bert said. They are washing their food before they eat it. Finally, it was time to go home. They all started walking back the way they had come. I found some terrific things for my nature collection today, said Ernie. I have a maple leaf and some moss and a porcupine quill and a four-leaf clover. And an acorn. And here is a pine cone for you, Ernie, said Big Bird. I drew pictures of a turtle, a porcupine, a rabbit, and a butterfly, said Betty Lou. We saw raccoons and strawberries and dandelion puffs, <laughs> said the Count. And a nest and a robin, said Big Bird. And poison ivy said Bert. 
Goodbye, Pa, called Big Bird as they rode away in the bus. Thank you for such a nice day. We'll come again soon. So that was Look What I Found from 1983. So if you like, like describe, share, and comment, have a groovy day. And our next book will be Benji Adventure. <laughs>